I'm Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez and God has called and commissioned me to lead people of all walks of life to a deep and genuine encounter with Him in preparation for the second coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. My dear friend, I encourage you as I pray for you today and as I share a message with you, be in agreement, believe and you shall receive in the name of Jesus. Hello to you my dear friend, it's Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez and I'm coming to you with another video that will bless and change your life forever. My dear friend, our Lord is a gracious God, He's a merciful God, He's a God who loves us and He Himself will never leave us. He has promised in His word He will never leave us, He will never forsake us and I tell you my dear friend, that is our number one reason to celebrate every new day. We can celebrate every day that God gives us knowing that God is with us knowing that the Son of God, Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, who died for us to restore us back to God again and rose again and is alive. He is alive right now. Jesus made a way for you so that you can experience life and life more abundantly in God. You can experience reconciliation back to God through the wonderful work of Jesus on the cross. Now, my dear friend, today I want to speak to you about something very, very important. And uh, it's something that I've gotten a lot of questions on. And as an evangelist, it's close to my heart because it involves souls. Now, I've gotten a lot of questions asking, how do you know that this is the right church or this is the right pastor to listen to? And first of all, I would like to start by saying, as an evangelist, I feel very bad when I see people come to Christ, have a glorious encounter with the living God, and all of a sudden, they end up leaving Christ. Now, nothing hurts me more than this. And because of that, I want to discuss this. I want to speak about it from a neutral place and I want to speak about it with a mature and a discerning heart. So the first thing that we should do my dear friend when we are looking for the right church is we must pray to God. Ask God to lead us to the right place. Ask God to lead us to a voice that is speaking His word, to a voice that the Holy Spirit is speaking through and speaking to us. That's the first thing that we must do. Now the second thing that we must do is we must look for things that show us that it is indeed God who is speaking and leading us to that place. So what must we look at? The first thing, the first and foremost thing is the minister or the church or whatever it is, the religious organization must preach in line with the word of God. It's so essential that the pastor, the preacher preaches in line with the word of God. Because the moment you deviate from the Word of God, it's no longer clear as to if it's for God or it's not from God and it leaves this sort of gray area that we should avoid. So in line with that, my dear friend, they must acknowledge that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. Furthermore, they must acknowledge and believe that He came as a man and He lived a sinless life. And He died for us in our place and He was also born of a Virgin Mary. They must understand and know this, my dear friend, in line with the Gospel. They must believe, understand and know this. This is what shows you that it's genuine. Furthermore, they must believe that He rose again and He's seated at the right hand of God in accordance with the Scripture. Another thing that you must look for, my dear friend, is they must believe He is as much, He as in Jesus, is as much God as the Holy Spirit and God the Father. And last but not least, my dear friend, they must believe the church that you're going to, the pastor, must believe that Jesus is coming back again and this is in accordance with the Word of God. Now, my dear friend, Jesus himself said, in recognizing whether a prophet is a true prophet or a false prophet, you need to look at the fruits, you need to look at what is produced. But now over here, my dear friend, I want to say something. We must be careful not to have too high expectations of any man. Because remember, my dear friend, at the end of the day, whether the man is a man of God, at the end of the day, we are human being and we make mistakes. But what can we look at? We must look at the fruits, but what fruits must we look at? The main fruits that you must see that's a qualifying criteria that this man is indeed a man of God is, as I've mentioned, it's that he preaches in line with the Word of God. The second thing is he must revere and fear God. And he must understand and he must set Jesus as the absolute center of his life and his ministry. It's so essential, my dear friend. What is Christianity without Christ? What is a church without Jesus? My dear friend, Jesus is the center of it all. They must focus on what Jesus can do and not their own work. Jesus is the center of it all. So if you want to find a good church, my dear friend, this is the advice I can give you. But in saying that, my dear friend, let's go into a time of prayer. Take your cell phone, your device, just go somewhere private where you can pray, where you can seek God. And even as you go there, my dear friend, begin to lift up praises to God. As the praises go up, the blessings of God will come down. 
and God will touch and change your life forever. But in saying that, let's begin to praise Him. Father, You are the Alpha and the Omega. You are the beginning and the end. You are our God, and we trust and we believe in You, both myself and my dear friend. Lord, thank You for the Word today. Thank You that it won't cause more confusion, but it will bring people to the right place where You want them to be. Lord, I give You praise even as You teach and You lead Your dear child who's listening to this video right now, Lord, to the right place where You want them to be. Lord, I give You praise, Lord, even as You do what only You can do. Furthermore, Lord, even as we pray today, I give You praise as You do miracles, signs, and wonders, all to the glory of King Jesus. So even today, for all the miracles that You do, Lord Jesus, receive all the praise, receive all the honor, receive all the glory. Amen. Hallelujah. But in saying that, my dear friend, we're going to begin to pray. I'm going to pray for you as the Holy Spirit leads me. But even as we go into a time of prayer, I want to encourage you to do two simple things. The first thing that I want you to do, my dear friend, is lift up your hands and pray this simple prayer with me. Say, Holy Spirit of God, I welcome you today. Come and touch me, Holy Spirit. Come and take me to a place that is close to Jesus. Let me understand and know the true way, the way of Jesus. Do miracles, signs, and wonders in my life for the glory of King Jesus. Come and touch and change my life even as I pray along with Evangelist Gabriel and help me to find the right place if I'm not in the right place already. I pray this in Jesus' mighty name and I thank you for it, Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. My dear friend, the second thing that I encourage you to do is comment down below in the comment section and agree with me. There is so much power in agreement and even as you comment and agree, God is going to bless you mightily. But in saying that, let's begin to pray. Father, I pray for my dear friend who's watching this video. Lord, I pray, lead and guide my dear friend to the right place where you want them to be, the right church, the right place where they can grow and be discipled. If they are not already in a good church, lead my dear friend to a good church where they can grow and they can be discipled, where you are in fact working, you are moving, and your revelation knowledge is active. Lord, lead my dear friend to the correct place so that my dear friend will not go down, but my dear friend will go up that my dear friend will receive growth, spiritual growth, even this year. Lord, you have made it clear that we should not neglect the fellowship of the saints. So it's so essential that we find a good Bible-based church. But furthermore, Lord, in your word, you've given us the requirements of what we must look for. And I've shared that today. Lord, use this video for your glory. Use this video to guide your children into the right place where you want them to be. Not where I want them to be, not where they want to be, but where you want them to be so that they can grow. Lord, I thank you for your grace. And I thank you that even as my dear friend finds the correct place to be, my dear friend will flourish. My dear friend will prosper. My dear friend will grow even as they find the correct church. Lord, I pray that you will bless my dear friend and take my dear friend up to a greater glory. Take my dear friend up to a greater level, a greater altitude in you. Let my dear friend understand and know your deeper ways. Lord, give my dear friend the grace to pray, the grace to speak to you, and the grace to hear you. And Lord, even as you lead and guide my dear friend, show my dear friend the correct way. Show my dear friend your word. Reveal your word to my dear friend so that my dear friend can grow. And my dear friend is not kept at a certain level and kept there, but they'll grow from level to level, from glory to glory. Lead my dear friend to the correct church that they need to be in, that my dear friend, your dear son, your dear daughter needs to be in. Bless my dear friend mightily. And if my dear friend is trusting you for a miracle today, come and do a miracle, O oh Lord. Do it for the glory of King Jesus, so that my dear friend will go up to a greater level, a greater altitude in you. Lord, take my dear friend up and not down. Let my dear friend experience your miracle working power even today. Let it be a testimony that Jesus Christ is Lord. And Lord, if my dear friend hasn't yet come to an encounter with you, to a personal relationship with you, if they haven't yet had that connection with you, I pray that it will happen today. As we pray together, let my dear friend come to the knowledge of salvation. Let my dear friend experience the miracle of salvation. Let my dear friend experience the baptism of the Holy Spirit and fire and know what it means to be born again. Let my dear friend be born again of water and of spirit, Lord. I pray this in the name of Jesus and I pray it in line with your word. I thank you, Lord, and I give you praise. In the name of Jesus, amen and amen. My dear friend, I want to tell you something. If you are in the right place, stay there. If you're not in a church, I've given you the instructions. If you must, play this video over and over again and even share it with your friends who are not in church so that they can find a good church to be in. But in saying that, my dear friend, we come to the end of this video. I leave you with a blessing. You are blessed and you cannot be cursed. 
You are blessed to go up and not down. You are blessed so that you will experience the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. You are blessed so that you will grow. You will have spiritual growth this year. You will have extraordinary spiritual growth this year. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. In saying that, we come to the end of this video. From myself, Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez, God bless you and goodbye. If you were blessed by this video and you'd like to give a seed, feel free to do so using any one of the secured links provided in the description. If you would like to partner with us to support the work of the gospel on a monthly basis, then you can do so via Patreon. The link for Patreon as well as other information is also provided in the description. Other than that, my friend, God bless you, God keep you, God make His face shine upon you and be gracious to you. Until we meet again next time, Shalom and goodbye.